Place Value by David A. Adler. Welcome to the Banana Cafe. It is open. A is both a word and a letter. One is both a number and a digit. A is the first word in the sentence. A frog jumped onto my cupcake. A is the fifth letter in the word cupcake. One is the number in the sentence. We are number one. One is the second digit in the number 318. We write words with letters. There are 26 letters in our alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Count the letters in the word banana. Banana is a word with six letters. We write numbers with digits. There are 10 digits in our number system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Count the digits in the number 5,432. 5,432 is a number with four digits. Let's look and see how many digits are in some of these. So in 621, there are three digits, six, a two, and a one. In 2,426,782, there are seven digits. Order is important with both words and numbers. Pot and top have the same letters, but because their order is different, the words are different. I said hand me a P-O-T, pot, not a T-O-P, top. Cafe and face have the same letters, but because their order is different, the words are different. Not face, it's cafe. Switch the F with the C. It's banana cafe, not banana face. That'd be kind of funny. 216 and 621 have the same digits, but because their order is different, the numbers are different. The place of each digit in a number determines its value. The six in 216 means six ones. The six in 621 means six hundreds. There's a big difference between 216 and 621. 9,347 and 7,493 have the same digits, but because their order is different, the numbers are different. The seven in 9,347 means seven ones. The seven in 7,493 means seven thousands. Take a look at this chart. On it, you can see the value of each digit in the number 654,321. In the number 654,321, there's a comma after the four. Commas are used to break large numbers into groups of three digits. The groups of three are counted to the left from, one, from the ones place. The commas make numbers easier to read. The first group of three, 321, is read 321. This is also called a period. So a group of three numbers is also called a period. The second group of three, the six, five, and four, is read 654,000. So that comma separates our periods, but it also tells us when to say the place value. So 654, I'm going to say that place value, thousands. Time to add butter. With the 10 digits in our number system, we can write even larger numbers. This 2426782 is a lot larger than this 2426782 is read. So that number is read 2,426,782. The same digit 2 in the same number, so there's three 2s in this number, has different values. From the left, the value of the first two is 2 millions. It's in the millions place. The value of the second two is 20,000 because it's in the 10,000s place and two 10,000s equal 20,000s. The value of the third two is just two. Two million is a lot of bananas. Take a look at this place value chart. There's a dot to the right of the one. The dot is a decimal point. 
So this red dot is a decimal point. It separates the columns of digits with values of more than one from those of less than one. So to the left is more than one, to the right is less than one. Each column to the left of the decimal point is 10 times more than the column before. Each column to the right is one tenth of the column before. The value of the nine to the right of the decimal point is nine tenths, or written nine over 10, like a fraction, nine tenths. The value of the eight in the second column to the right of the decimal point is eight hundredths, or written eight over a hundred. It's an eight in the hundredths place. Dollars, dimes, and pennies can teach you about the decimal point. How much money is in this box? We've all dealt with money before. If you write it in words, you write $12.34. If you write it as a number, you write the dollar sign 12 decimal 34. There is one $10 bill in the box. The one is the one in $12.34 is in the tens place. It means $10. There are two $1 bills in the box. The two and the $12.34 is in the ones place. It means $2. There are three dimes in the box. So each dime is one-tenth of a dollar, meaning you need 10 dimes to make $1. The three and $12.34 is in the tenths place. It means three-tenths of a dollar. There are four pennies in the box. Each penny is one-hundredth of a dollar, meaning you need 100 pennies to make a dollar. The four in $12.34 is in the hundredths place. It means four hundredths of a dollar. Our number system is called the Hindu Arabic system. It was first developed in India a few thousand years ago and spread across the Middle East into Europe. With just the 10 symbols in the Hindu Arabic system, we can write any number no matter how large or how small. It's place value that makes our whole system so powerful. Take another look at this place value chart. So the first column to the right of the decimal is four tenths. The first column to the left of the decimal is for any number less than one. So this one's place is for any, or I'm sorry, any number less than 10. So this one's place is for zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once we get larger than nine, then we'd use our other place values. The first column, or the second column to the left is for tens. The third is for hundreds. Of course, each hundred is 10 tens. So once you get to 10 tens, you make a hundred. The fourth column is for thousands. So each thousand is 10 hundreds. You need 10 hundreds to get to thousands. And so on and so on, 10, 10, 10. You need 10 of each to get to the one, to the place value to the left. Time to bake the cupcake. The Hindu Arabic system, number system is based on 10. Why 10? Many people believe it's because we each have 10 fingers. Our number system may have started thousands of years ago when someone counted on his fingers. He reached 10 and made a mark on the ground to show he had counted on all his fingers. The mark on the ground meant 10. He continued to count. Each time he counted all his fingers, he made another mark. Each mark meant 10. That's interesting. So each little mark that they made here represented 10. You know this that 132 is not the same number as 123, and 123 is not the same number as 321. The digits in each of the numbers are the same, but the numbers are different. Our number system depends on place value. It's what enables us to write this huge number using just 10 different digits. So I've got this huge number here, but there's only 10 digits here, zero through nine. And the way we say this is 329 trillion 465 billion, 180 million, 708,643. So again, each set of these three numbers between the commas is known as a period. So a group of three numbers between commas is known as a period. 329 trillion, that's a lot. That's a whole lot of sprinkles. Take a look at this place value chart. So remember, when I move to the left, each place value to the left, when I hop to the left, is 10 times larger than the one before it. When I move to the right, the place values get 1 tenth or 10 times smaller than the place value to the left of it. 